The sound of a telephone alerts you when it rings. But how does it work? Let's take a look at these things. A telephone was invented for humans to communicate when they're too far apart for their voice to resonate. The telephone converts on waves to a form that can be transferred through the cables for the recipient to receive. There are main parts to a telephone. Let's learn that. Atop the Suez 2.1B rocket I had opened the way for more advanced probes Such as Kepler and TESS You should know I was operated by the French CNES Space Agency Which means the National Center for Space Studies I was operated by the European Space Agency When abbreviated as ESAUC one of my major finds was Super Earth Caro 7B, an exoplanet orbiting the star Caro 7, you see. Another discovery was Caro 2B, which does orbit the star Caro 2 so free. 
Here's my 4 CCD camera in electronics, that's right. My baffle shields and telescope from extraneous light. My Proteus platform contains communication equipment, temperature and direction controls, you now know this. And on either side of me are my solar panels, that's right. They use the sun's radiation to power the satellite. From the Karo satellite, my mission was a delight. I was set out to bring rocket planets outside the solar system. System into sight. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. The Apollo mission brought humans to the moon. The first flight was in the 1960s. We hope to go back soon. The Apollo missions were a NASA pro. Set a major spaceflight milestone for all humans. The Apollo program was conceived in 1960 during Dwight D. Eisenhower's presidency. Then the Apollo program started in 1961 and consisted of 11 total spaceflights and missions. Apollo was a NASA program that had American astronauts. Out of the 11 spaceflights, six of those resulted in moonwalks. The first four flights tested. Successful with Earth orbits numbering 10. Apollo 9 tested the lunar module in orbit in 69. The crew orbited the Earth 151 times. A rehearsal of the moon landing was in 69 on Apollo 10. It was a great success with 31 orbits around the Earth's bend. Apollo 11 was the first land and walk on the moon in 69. Neil Armstrong was the first to step foot on the moon for humankind. In 1971, which marked the first landing in the Lunar Highlands. This mission was done. The first use of the Apollo rover happened in 71 as well. This launched on Apollo 15 mission and it went real swell. Apollo 16 launched in 1972. Astronauts explored the Lunar Highlands. This is true. In 72, Apollo 17 was launched and nothing went wrong. This marks the last walk on the moon. Since then no one has gone You can visit space someday And our Earth you will see Or you can visit a different planet And make history The Apollo mission brought humans To the moon The first flight was in the 1960s We hope to go back soon Check out the new KLT Geography channel With new videos every Saturday This is a solar expedition on renewable energy We'll see how solar panel cells produce free electricity Our sun's a nuclear reactor shooting photons at us for free Let's harness this power through silicon into batteries What is solar power? It's the conversion of energy from our sunlight into electricity Our sun's a natural nuclear reactor You should know It's the most abundant energy resource on earth I'll show Now what's a photon? They're light particles produced by the sun They're made by nuclear fusion Shot into space in all directions It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds For a photon to run Before it reaches our earth From the surface of our sun Photons are made of electromagnetic radiation they're tiny packets of energy I convert into electricity
electricity for fun I'm a photovoltaic cell, a solar cell you see I'm like an electrical leaf, I use the sun to produce energy Solar panels are made up of me, small solar cells These cells are made from silicon, of this I will tell Silicon is a semiconductor, for what it is worth And one of the most abundant elements on the planet Earth In a solar cell there are three layers shown right here I will tell you about each layer as they appear The thin top layer does contain silicon, you should know And a tiny amount of an element called phosphorus I show the phosphorus has more electrons than the silicon does That means there are more electrons making this area more conductive This layer with the phosphorus gives electrons more room to roam Which makes it negatively charged so it's called the n-type as shown The bottom layer contains silicon and an element called boron which has fewer electrons than the surrounding silicon because of the fewer electrons this layer is positively charged that's why it's called the p-type layer as shown at large my middle layer is called the pn junction soon we'll see what happens when photons hit me from the sun silicon atoms are connected to its neighbor by four strong bonds this keeps the electrons in place in which i'm not so fond when a photon shoots into a solar cell with enough energy it can knock off an electron from its bond leaving a hole you see the negatively charged electron and positively charged hole are now free to roam around but there's only one way each can go because of the electrical field in the pn junction the electrons drawn to the n type and the hole is drawn to the p type they run the mobile electrons are collected by metal strips at the top of the solar cell from there they flow to the external circuit to power a light bulb by itself. They flow through and return to the conductive aluminum sheet on my back. Then they return from where they came from with no waste, that's a fact. A single solar panel has many solar cells to create more energy in a small space to keep your home running well. When too much energy is produced, it gets sent back to the electrical grid to help produce more electricity for some other kid. The sun produces more energy each hour than we will ever need there's so many ways that we can create renewable energy this is a solar expedition on renewable energy we'll see how solar panel cells produce free electricity our sun's a nuclear reactor shooting photons at us for free let's harness this power through silicon into batteries go to the new klt anatomy channel click the link in the description below I'm the ISS, the International Space Station 1998 was the year that begun my construction I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space I fly around the world every 90 minutes I orbit the Earth 16 times in 24 hours, that's legit I'm 357 feet long from end to end and am I after the moon? I'm the second brightest object in your sky. I have two bathrooms on board, there's also one gym. I have six sleeping quarters and six spaceship docks for the win. Here's a brief history about how I came to be. Pay attention to my incredible collaborative construction story. The idea of the space station was science fiction until the 1940s. The structure might be built by by many nations. In the 1950s, designs of spaceships and space stations began to develop with the beginning of the space age and it gained traction. The first rudimentary station was created in 1969 by the linking of two Russian Soyuz vehicles in line. In 1984, the US President Ronald Reagan told NASA to build the ISS for many nations. Then in 1998, 
The construction had begun of the only international space station. That year, the first segment of the ISS launched in November 20th by the Russian proton rocket named Zarya. It's no myth. The Unity node from the US launched December 4th by the space shuttle Endeavour set it on its course. The Endeavour met Zarya in orbit with the Unity node to make the first connection with the Russian segment, you know. In the year 2000, the first crew to man the space shuttle adrift was Bill Shepard, Yuri Katanko, and Sergei Krikalev. The US lab module was added in 2001. Then the European and Japanese lab joined in 2008, and we're not done. The ISS consists of 15 nations, Canada, Japan, and the Russian Federation. The United States and the European Space Agency. They are Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, and Italy. The Netherlands, Norway, Spain, and Sweden, Switzerland, and the famed United Kingdom. Maybe you will have the chance to visit me someday and be another part of the ISS and its history. I'm the ISS, the International Space Station. 1998 was the year that begun my construction. I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day. Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space. Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name is Mercury, I'm the second hottest planet, but the closest one to the sun. A year on my surface is 88 days, I'm the smallest but lots of fun. My name is Venus, I'm the hottest planet, but the second planet from the sun. I'm the brightest planet in our solar system, and I'm too hot for Earth. I'm the planet you live on and the third planet from the sun. I'm the only planet with organic life, so take care of me cause we're all one. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name is Mars. I am red in color and the fourth planet from the sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano named Olympus Mons. My name is Jupiter. I am covered in clouds and I'm the fifth planet from the sun. My giant Saturn. I am brown in color. I'm the sixth planet from the sun. My outer rings are extremely thin. They're made of dust and icy chunks. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some sun once in 84 Earth years and was discovered in 1781. My name is Neptune, also blue in color. I'm the eighth planet from the sun. I'm the last gas giant in our solar system and I'm also the coldest one. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. I 
am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me the Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology based on other galaxies we see outside of our own is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as i'm shown when you look at a side view of the milky way here you see me as a flat disc with a bulge center i appear i am the milky way galaxy look in the night sky to see a part of me i am the milky way galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion spurs where your system appears Your system's guessed to be 20 5,000 light years from the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 230 million years is what your system takes to orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me That's an estimate only based on our astronomy Over 100 billion planets might exist in me Maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above the galactic core's the rotational center you can't see Because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied It's believed the center is a supermassive black hole When astronomers find out more then I will let you know You'll notice the galactic bar and also the long bar There's the three KPC arms, there is a near and there's a far Then we have the Sagittarius and the Norma arms Then the Orion spur where your solar system spins on The Scutum Centaurus and Perseus arm Our two major spirals and full of the galaxy's charm Finally the outer arm and the new outer arm Are the final spirals I will mention in this song I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel Click the link in the description below! We're all stars, we're all stars Compared to each other by size You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars Our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium Here we go! I'm the Crab Pulsar, a young neutron star. I'm Calvera, an isolated neutron star that's far. My name's Bela X1, I'm a neutron star as well. Sirius B, that's me, a small white dwarf as you can tell. I'm EBLM 
M-J-O-555-57-A-B My name's Trappist One, an ultra cool red dwarf star in sight I'm Proxima Centauri, a main sequence red dwarf star I am your son, a yellow dwarf that isn't too far Alpha Centauri A is an orange star, you see I am Sirius A, a main sequence star, that's me We're all stars, we're all stars Compared to each other by size You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars Our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium Here we go! VFTS-352, contact binary 1 and 2 Composed of two very hot brain massive stars that orbit each other, it's true My name is Pollux, a red giant star here Arcturus is a red giant star, I hope I made that clear R-136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far I'm Alda Baron, a red giant star, that's me Rigel is here, a blue-white supergiant you can see. I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red supergiant in class. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant star with mass. I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red supergiant this far. Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when when you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars Our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium Here we go! We're all stars, we're all stars Compared to each other by size You can see a lot of us When you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars Our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium Helium, here we go! Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday! I am the Earth, the only planet with organic life! With 8.7 million species, we all fight to survive! You all live on me, so work like bees in a hive! And keep this planet really healthy, so that
of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets. According to the IAU, we're the only ones. My name is Ceres. I'm the smallest dwarf planet and the closest dwarf to the sun. I'm the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter I run. Scientists think my bright spots are salty deposits made of sodium carbonate and ammonium chloride. I'm the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system and my surface is completely dry. Hello, I'm Pluto, I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system planetary mix. But when Eries was discovered, it had 27% more mass. The IAU demoted me in 2006. I've since been a tour planet in your solar system and have my moons that orbit me so nice. I'm about to have a rocky core which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU we're the only ones. I'm Almea. I am a dwarf planet and was discovered in 2004 at the Palomar Observatory by astronomer Mike Brown and I have two moons, now here's some more My elongated shape is thought to be because the fast rotations that I make Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune and the third closest dwarf to the sun for goodness sake I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun Also located in the Kuiper Belt, you see Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team at the Palomar Observatory I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2 It's about 13,000 miles from me I appear to be reddish brown in color But I'm so far away that you can barely see My name is Eries, I'm in the Kuiper Belt I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun I have one known moon, it's named Dysnomia Its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run I'm the most massive, but the second largest dwarf planet After Pluto in the solar system If you wanna learn more about us individually Watch all of kids learning to planet videos at once we're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU we're the only ones. Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy. Am I 2.65 million light years from Earth? I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular galaxy there's nothing finer 
I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy, you see. Sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy. My arms reach out well, I'm spun. I was first discovered in the year of 1773. 76,000 light years is the distance across me. I'm the Milky Way Galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk with a bright central bulge that you can't miss. I'm 100,000 light years. Your sun is 8K PC from my center on what is known as Orion's arm. It's a real bender. I'm Hope's object, a non typical galaxy of the type known as a ring galaxy as you can see 121,000 light years across bigger than the milky way discovered by author hogan 1958 there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big of course now here we come I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy Discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941 I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy Discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please I'm 170,000 light years across Nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss I'm the Andromeda Galaxy a spiral galaxy I say in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way my name stems from the constellation of Andromeda I'm 220,000 light years across I'll be seeing ya I'm NGC 6872 also known as Condor Galaxy I'm a large part spiral galaxy I'm sure you agree discovered in 1835 by John Herschel the boss I'm very large at 700,000 light years across I'm the giant temple galaxy a disrupted part spiral you see I was discovered in the year of 2018 I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way that's extremely large my friend I'm 1 million light years long from end to end I'm IC 1101 a supergiant elliptical galaxy I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe you see discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel 6 million light years across with stars I am full there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big of course now here we come we are some planets all different in size here's our planetary size comparison for you live we'll look at each planet measured by their radius here there are so many planets that will appear. I am Ceres. I am felt as the largest object in the asteroid belt. I am Orcus, to be direct. I'm a trans-Neptunian object. I'm known as Sedna, if you can stand it. I'm a large minor planet. I am Quora. You may respect as a trans Neptunian object. My name's kind of funny. It's Maki Maki. I am a dwarf planet. Yeah, that's me. Haumea is my name. I'm six in line with fame. A dwarf planet. Yeah, we're not all the same. My name is Eris. I am a dwarf planet. The most massive dwarf in your system yet. You know me as Pluto. I was a planet, but now dwarf, you know. I hope the IAU puts me back as a planet, though. Who's Kepler 37B? Wait a minute, that's me. 
An extrasolar planet that you now see I am Mercury, the second hottest as I'm spun I'm in your solar system, closest planet to your sun Come visit this planet so far to learn all about Mars I'm the 10th largest planet but not really in charge My name is Venus for what that is worth I'm almost the same size as your beautiful Earth I'm the Earth on this planetary run Please take care of me, I'm the planet you all live on Proximus Centauri B, I'm the planet you see An exoplanet in a habitable zone, you'd agree Have you heard about me? Kepler 10B is my name I have a rocky surface, I'm amazing, some do claim My surface is a furnace, I'm Coro 7B 489 light years from the Earth, that's me Neptune centers Earth size and my atmosphere's methane, hydrogen, and helium And I'm the most distant from our burning sun I'm Uranus, the planet seventh from the sun Yet I'm blue with 13 rings, I'm sure we have met You know me as Saturn with rings, this is true I have the most moons in the solar system, now 82 I'm Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system I am the fifth planet from the sun I'm an extrasolar planet, this is 51 Pegasi B Some think my atmosphere contains water that we may see I am a planet, my name's Gliss 876D An extrasolar planet up in this mix, that's me I'm named HD 100546B I am designated the largest known planet you see we are some planets, all different in size Here's our planetary size comparison for you live We'll look at each planet, measured by their radius here There are so many planets that will appear Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel Click the link in the description below My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see No planet in our solar system is bigger than me My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be And I have 62 moons that rotate round me so free The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods Because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars Callisto Europa got a meeting
channel with new videos every Saturday. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. My name is Tethys, I'm one of Saturn's 82 moons. My radius is 531 kilometers, it is true. I am Dion, I orbit Saturn, you do see. My radius is 561 kilometers, that is me. Ariel is my name, Uranus is what I orbit. My radius is 578 kilometers, I'm third on the list. I am Umbriel, Uranus is where I'm from. My radius is 584 kilometers, I am spun. I'm the moon of Sharon, I float in orbit. Pluto radius is 606 kilometers, this I do know. I'm Iapetus, a moon of Saturn. Radius of 734 kilometers as I turn. Oberon is my name, outermost moon of Uranus. 761 kilometers is my radius. I am Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon. Radius of 763 kilometers, see you soon. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. Not Titania, the largest moon of Uranus. 788 kilometers is my radius. The name is Triton, the largest moon of Neptune. I'm 1,353 kilometers in radius in this tune. Europa is frozen and the moon of Jupiter. My radius is 1,560 kilometers. I am the moon of the planet. My radius is 1737 kilometers for what it's worth. Hello, I'm Io, the strangest moon of Jupiter, with a radius of 1821 kilometers. I'm Callisto, I orbit Jupiter, you see. My radius is 2410 kilometers, that's all on me. Titan is my name, Saturn's my claim to fame. 2574 kilometers is my radius. Yes, I claim. I'm gonna meet the largest moon in the solar system. Jupiter is what I orbit, yeah, that's where I'm from. My radius is 2634 kilometers now. Let's listen to the chorus while the moons take a bow. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for my rings by everyone. I'm the second largest planet in our solar system. Please come sing along until my teachings are done. Out of my 62 moons, 53 are named. I am a second you drop that's my gravity pulling towards my surface top 10 hours and 39 minutes long is a day on my surface let's sing this song i am saturn the sixth planet from the sun i'm known for my rings by everyone i'm the second largest planet in our solar system please come sing along until my teachings are done it takes 29 years for me to orbit the sun and my rings are made up of rock and icy chunks Go to the new K 
ALT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. I'm a super massive black hole found in the center of almost all massive galaxies. I'm a super massive black hole. There are theories of how I'm formed. Come and join me and see. There are three types of black holes according to theory. Primordial, stellar, and super massive like me. The primordial's a tiny hypothetical black hole. In 1974, Stephen channel with new videos every Saturday. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise. I'm Phoebe, an irregular satellite of Saturn. I'd be my alternative name is Saturn 9. You can see, discovered in 1899 by William Pickering. My diameter is 213 kilometers while I do my thing. I'm 10199 Caraclo, an asteroid with rings, the largest confirmed small body of the outer solar system I sing. I'm possibly a dwarf planet with a measured diameter of 232 kilometers, I'm sure. I'm 38628 Huya, a minor planet in your system, or trans-Neptunian object is my technical term as I'm spun. You can find me in the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system. My diameter is 406 kilometers, how fun. 
On 2018 VG18 of this I am sure A trans-Neptunian object don't leave there is more First observed in 2018 by three astronomers 500 kilometers is my known diameter My name is Vesta, I'm a minor planet You now know I'm one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt I do show I'm probably the second largest asteroid after Ceres I have a mean diameter of 525 kilometers you see. I'm 2014 UZ224, a trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet, but the IAU hasn't decided yet. Out in the Kuiper belt I was discovered, I am sure 635 kilometers is my diameter. I'm 20,000 Varuna, a large trans-Neptunian object in the Kuiper belt I dwell in possible dwarf, but not yet. My elongated shape is due to my rapid rotation 668 kilometers is my diameter well spun I am Ceres I am a dwarf planet I'm the largest object in the main asteroid belt to orbit I am too dim to be seen by the naked eye for sure I am 946 kilometers in diameter my name is Senna I am a minor planet on the run I'm three times as far as Neptune from the sun. My surface is one of the reddest among the solar system objects. I'm 995 kilometers in diameter. Glad we met. My name is Quora and I'm a dwarf planet candidate. But for now I'm a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object. I reside in the Kuiper belt. It's so cold here. Burr. And I'm 1110 kilometers in diameter. I'm 2007 OR10 that name it stood strong with the proposed name in 2019 of Gong Gong my furthest distance is 9.4 billion miles from the sun my diameter is 1230 kilometers as I run not Maki Maki a minor planet I be I'm perhaps the second largest object in the Kuiper belt you see I was discovered in 2005 by a team led by Michael Brown and currently 1400 30 kilometers in diameter and I'm round. Almea is my name. I'm a dwarf planet by fame. Beyond Neptune's orbit, you can find me with some aim. I'm the third largest known trans-Neptunian object. I'm 1632 kilometers in diameter. Last I checked, my name is Ceres. I am a dwarf planet as well, and the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system. How swell! Located beyond the Kuiper belt in a region called the Scatter Disk. My diameter in kilometers is 2,326. I'm Pluto. No, I'm a big deal as the largest dwarf planet I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system till I quit I am part of the cold and lonely Kuiper belt My diameter is 2376 kilometers so I tell We're astronomical objects brought to you here by Psy Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly we're astronomical objects brought to you here by science. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. I am the first planet from our sun you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen A bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest, I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once, that makes one year on me I am the first planet from our sun you see my name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me 
The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me 59 Earth days equals one day on me My surface is made of snow, covered in craters you see Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium Make up my exosphere I have no moons and I have no rings But I'm the second densest planet amongst other things I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me channel with new videos every Saturday.